Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are rebuilding the Houston Rockets and NBA 2K25. The Houston Rockets right now, they recently extended Alfred Shangun to a pretty big deal, I'm not going to lie. But low-key, kind of a steal. I'm surprised the Monday doesn't go up to $40 million at all. It's low-key a steal of a contract. So Shangun will be a Rocket for a long time. They also went ahead and extended Jalen Green's contract already. Which, you know, it's controversial, definitely, but he's not under contract for that much long. He is only under contract for three seasons. So they extended him for three years because, obviously, he hasn't proven much to be a future player for this team. So that contract is actually good. Jabari, I'm guessing, is next year. It probably will be. And then, obviously, Ahmed Thompson, Dylan Brooks. We have Tari East and Adams will be coming back. Came out with more, obviously. That yeah, was a steal with the 20th pick. We all know. And then we got guys like Reed Shepard that they draft, which he will be great. It's a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of things to like for this team. So your rotation heading into this season is Fred Van Vliet. I don't, also, I don't want Fred Van Vliet to be, like, the future guy by any means. Most likely, he'll be, like, go next year. But we'll see. Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, Jabari, Alfred Shangun, Ahmed Thompson, uh, Tari Easton. See you now. It's Cameron Whitmore and Jock Landell as your rotation. I'm not going to lie. Instead of Jock Landell, I would love to give these 10 minutes to Reed Shepard. I think it makes a little bit more sense to give these minutes more, uh, give these minutes to Reed Shepard. So that's what we'll do. That does leave you guys like Jeff Green and Jay Sean T. As well as Aaron Holiday, which just I wish I could play all you guys. We could have run 11 man rotation, but I don't know. We might be looking to win a championship this year. So. I'll just have it like that. Now, 2K has it. We're just changing one thing, and that's playing Reed Shepard 10 minutes. So I will now see you guys at the end of the season. No clue how we're going to do this year. No clue. At the end of the season, Luka Doncic is your MVP. Ricky Dino goes to Zachary. You say, I'm a Thompson. Which is most improved player. He won six men as well. He did. That's an absolute crazy. Um, two awards to have. Honestly, that's great. When a deploy, I think, in six player. Not was most improved. My bad. Winning, I don't know if this is really most improved stats. Obviously, we know that award is broken right now. I don't know who that award will go to yet. Um, you know, it's too early in the season to predict that, but who knows? Maybe it could go to Helmet Thompson if he performs himself that good. But people are saying Wimbin Yao must move. It literally makes no sense. There's all, so much things wrong with that. Like, why would a second year player win? Well, it's just a lot more things. He's already good. It doesn't make sense for him. It just doesn't make sense. But. 19 from Jalen Green, 18 from Shangun, 13 and a half from Fred Van Vliet. We had 12 from Ahmed Thompson, 11 and a half from Whitmore, uh, 10 from Jabari, 10 from Tari East, and 7 from Dylan Brooks. Uh, we had 6 and 6 and about, uh, you know, you know, decent side scheme that and then 5 from Reed Shepard off the bench. Uh, what did he shoot? Oh, 33% from me is kind of surprising. From a guy like Reed Shepard, um, but I guess his rookie year. We didn't make the plan as uh, so we got the Nuggets. Can we beat the Denver Nuggets as we are now in the playoffs? Then we got the Dallas Mavericks. So, Luca, Kyrie, Clay, PJ Washington, Lively, Gafford, Najee Marshall. Can we go out and beat the Dallas Mavericks? We're going to get sweat. We're not beating the team at the man. We're definitely not ready for that by any means. The Knicks going to win the championship. All right. How are we going to improve this team during the season? It is going to be really hard to improve. It's basically just me. Jeff Green does retire. Shout out. But. Uh, we're obviously going to turn off the meetings. I don't think it doesn't really make sense to have that on. Crazy things happen. We have that on. So, anyway, it's going to be, you know, really, you know, tough to, you know, make this team better because we know they're going to be really good in the future. Rejected pick 10 via Phoenix. Can we go and yeah, pick go up higher? That would be great. As right, so we're going to finish with the 10th overall pick via Phoenix. But I'm going to go and put that Brooklyn Nets trade thing in, and I'll see you guys in a second. Never mind. I think it's already in. We already have the Suns picks. Finally, 2K. But, yeah, all right. So, we have the 10th overall pick because the Suns, I'm guessing, were historically bad, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, the Suns were terrible, man. 34 at 48. Um, Yeah, pretty bad. Not gonna lie. The Nets have a pick. Just making sure. Yep, Nets have one. That's perfect. Thank you, 2K. But, yeah, let's go ahead and draft with pick 15 or whatever, uh, 10. My bad. What pick we had. Draft class is in. Number one goes Cooper Flats to the Nets. Dylan Harper to the Hawks. We had Ace Bailey to the Wizards. Dylan Trary to the Pistons. Carter Bryant to the um uh, the Utah Jazz. We had to come to the Blazers. Kading or whatever his name is going to the Pelicans. Drake Powell to the Hornets. The Celtics. Trey Johnson. Okay. Um. Don't know why they're here and why they have a higher pick than me. But we got Hugh Gonzalez. We have Igor. I would much rather love to take a big. I would have loved the center to fall to me, but sadly he didn't. And this guy is uh, down the board a lot. So I'm not gonna take him. 
Uh, we could take, like, Dink. I mean, we could take a forward, like I said, but I don't think we pass up on the guy, Hugo Gonzalez, man. Hugo Gonzalez, welcome to the team from Spain. We also have the last pick. I'm taking a Florin. I'm taking a center. We're going to have to. But, yeah, Hugo and Florin. I absolutely love Hugo Gonzalez from this team. For Evan Vliet, I knew we can decline him and then probably get him for less or just let him go, but I'm not paying him $44 million. Uh, Aaron Holiday will also decline. But, yeah, let's just actually get into free agency. As, you know, getting off Fred Van Vliet helps a lot financially as we have $13 million to spend. Um, we could just re-sign him. Let's see something first. We have Reed Shepard. We could just roll with starting him. I kind of want to have Ahmed Thompson play point guard. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to fix that. We have Dylan Brooks, Cameron Whitmore, Jabari, and Tari Eason, and then Alfred Shangoon. We need a, probably a better center in the rotation. That's something I do want to improve, hopefully, in the future. But, um, yeah, Jock Landell's making, you know, it's $8 million, I think, for two years. So, we probably could trade that away to get a better center. But for now, I think I'm going to move, like I said, on my top to the point guard. He does go down, but I don't care. We'll still play it at that point. He goes down one overall. Reed Shepard will back him up. Jalen Green, Hugo Gonzalez, Dylan Brooks. All right. Do we resign for Ed Van Vliet? That's the question. I don't think we do. I think we just let him go. We could sign trade him for, like, a center. But I don't know. I think we just left Fred Vliet go. Fred Van Vliet go. How much money is he adding for him for $26 million. Yeah, unless who's a who's center that's making that much money. I really wouldn't find it. So I think we just let him go and be honest with you. So, yeah, I mean, Fred Van Vliet doesn't really seem like an obvious bring back. We could probably get, like, Zubach. How much money is he making? Uh, I don't think he's even making that much money. So, yeah, I, don't think we, I think we just let Fred Van, Fred Van Vliet go. We just move on and on to the next thing. So we'll probably sign a center just in case. So Drummond. I'm going to seem too bad. So we're going to sign Andre Drummond to a deal. So, like, um, three years. Uh, I'm not going to go three years. So, let's say team option, one plus one, Drummond, 10 million. We'll sign Andre Drummond. We'll call it a day. Just like that, we have our team heading into the future or heading into this season. Not, no, I should do that. Did we? We didn't really do much. I can say that. But I kind of want to keep Jalen Green as Shengun and not make a trade. I don't know. I, I want to keep the young core together and hopefully win a championship. So, Jari Smith, uh, Jari Smith Jr., uh, Ahmed Thompson is going up. A lot, a lot of progression, like I said, progression. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's looking great. You know, I think we're going to be a top five seed in the West this year. This is how 2K rolls. So, and we have a lot of picks that we own from teams in the future, like especially the Suns. So, we do want to make a trade with the Suns ever. We have their picks. So, you know, and if the Suns suck, we have their picks as well. But let's just, I'm going to take a look at it really quick once 2K decides to load. So, yeah, let's look at it. Um, We have the Nets picks in 2026, so we could definitely use that. We have 2027 and then 2027. Yeah, we have a lot of picks in the future, but I think the Nets actually might have this pick unless, yeah, they do. They have 2026. They have our 2026 first-round pick as well. So, looks like 2K didn't fix it. I mean, why would they? Why would they fix it, man? So, I'm going to fix this, Um, and then I think – we give them this pick back. I think we just do. I think it's that, right? So we're not supposed to have the Brooklyn Nets pick. I'm pretty sure. So, um, no, it has to be Phoenix, the Phoenix Suns pick via Dallas, and that was it, right? Um, where are the Brooklyn Nets it's taking a lot of time? My bad, but let's go ahead and just do this. Get the trade. No, we're not supposed to have that pick anyway. So, all right, that means we don't have a 2026 first. Um, all right, guess we're gonna have to be bad, but or be good. What am I talking about? I'm straight up on my words. All right, I'm at Thompson, the Jalen Green, Kevin Whitmore. We'll start a small forward. Uh, Jabari Smith, Shangun, Tari Eason, Dylan Brooks will come off the bench this year. I guess if there's one thing we do, we could trade Dylan Brooks. Um, he'll be an expiring next year. Reed Shepard and then Andre Drummond and then Jock Landell get in minutes. I'm just gonna give these minutes to Hugo Gonzalez. Like I said, no point of playing Jock Landell. So 10 minute rotation. Getting Hugo on there feels great. I'm not gonna lie. Aaron Holiday. I thought I let you go. I mean, I guess 2K filled him out for the minimum, but I don't know. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Luka Doncic wins the MVP. <clears throat> But uh, we ended up last like said, Devin Booker is the guy that I was kind of looking at the deadline. But it seems like I always get him. So I'm probably going to stay away from that too with the young core. So we ended up being the fifth seed. We got San Antonio in round one. So, yeah, as you can see, we're good. 21 from Jalen Green, 17 from Shangun, 15 from Whitmore, 12 from Jabari. Yeah, we're going to have to pay all these guys soon. I'm kind of worried about. But, you know, hopefully we can just get it over with because I really do not want to pay all these guys all this money. Um, those is to get the championship. 
Um, out of the way, so we have San Antonio, like I said, so it's Castle Vassell, Johnson, Jimmy Sohan. So we are going to the Timmons 7. Now we got Dallas. Okay, Luca, Kyrie, Grimes, Washington, Lively, Gafford, Clay, Marshall, Richardson, and Trevin Brad. We're in the second round. Yeah, Dallas, we did lose this team last year. As we're going to go on to six again. The Mavericks are our kryptonite so far. We cannot beat them, which is which sucks, but it's whatever. So heading into the draft lottery, we are not going to have any first round pick. Our pick goes to the Brooklyn Nets, as we all know. So, yeah, um, the Nets, I believe, yeah, we were good. So, our pick isn't probably going to be that good. I guess I don't really care. But let's say straight. Let me just make sure I do not have that pick right now. We have two seconds. I don't even care about these two seconds, man. They're not even going to play. Let's just see who we get. So, oh, Morrison, Gregor. We have two and you guys. I can't. Uh, we'll just sign the 70. We probably just won't sign this guy. I'm on Thompson. Cameron Whitmore, Reed Shepard. I'm even going to decline Drummond. I'm going to accept Florida. And we'll have 10 million. Extra ten million to spend to so after resign Tari and Jabari Smith. All right, so um, I'm gonna pl probably offer Jabari Smith his contract first. I don't want to pay you this much, bro, but see if I can flat rate it. That'll make it better for the you know the future. Yeah, he's not worth it. It's not worth all that money. And then Tari Eason. Uh, wonder if I get you for a little bit cheaper. I'm not gonna lie because I don't know if I could pay you that much. So Jabari and if Tari Eason gets a contract, obviously we will know. But we're going to wait on Tari's. Uh, I don't think I'll be bringing back Drummond, though, just because of his age. And I'm asking for a lot. I'm not going to bring it back. So just let that, let that cap will go. And then I think we can wait on day 12 to re-sign Tari Eason. He'll still be here um, because he's restricted. So, all right. He is the Mike Sadar from Detroit, Pistons, which we don't want to happen. The money didn't even go down, did it? No, it didn't. Um, let's see. What would he accept? I would love for him to get for $25 million for three years. That would be huge. So $25 million, three-year deal. I guess we can probably up it just a little bit. We can't do four-year. Probably do two-year. $25 million for three years. What is he, what is he saying? And he is going to accept it right on the dot. That's huge. And then um, I would love to actually maybe make a trade for a backup center. So I'm going to see if I could trade Dylan Brooks to get a better backup five. I'm going to see if I get Zubas to be our backup center. So we're going to offer him and Gregor Ellis. And then, you know, I don't know if he's worth the first, but I'll throw it and I'll see if what they say is they are going to decline, which is, I don't know if it's fair. Uh, Jock Landell, maybe we take out this guy. They can't even take on Jock Landell. Do I have $3 million? They can give me this guy and then hopefully that guy. Um, For Jock Landell, they will probably a second-round pick as well. Does this give me Zubac? It does not. Uh, okay, we'll throw this minimum. They can't even take on this minimum. I'm not throwing two first. Unless we can throw like a pick closer to this year. So like this Nets pick. Did I get it done? No. Um, might not, it already gets, maybe this Suns pick. That's what we're about in this Nets base. So we might have to wait to the deadline for the pick to get a little more valuable. And then we can make a trade. Like that. I wanted to get a center now. But we're going to waste the deadline to get a center, which is annoying. You know, I know it sucks. We're going to stay in path for now. And then wait for our picks to become a little bit better, and then we can make a trade. And I, you know, ma making a trade for a center means we move to our east in a small four. Or, yeah, move it. You know, okay, we should be fine, trust me. We're going to wait to the deadline and make a trade. I know we haven't made a single trade on video, but I'm telling you, we will make some trades at the trade deadline to upgrade this team and hopefully put ourselves in a championship room. Not gonna, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try not to trade Jalen Green. Your rotation is Reed Shepard. They want to start. I don't know. Kind of like Reed off the bench. So I'm gonna have him play on the bench with Ahmed Thompson, Jalen Green, Kimber Whitmore, Jabari Smith Jr., Shangoon, Reed Shepard, Tari Eason, Hugo Gonzalez, Dylan Brooks. And then I guess Jock Lano is gonna have to play these last center minutes off the bench just till the trade deadline because he will be traded at the deadline as well as some other guys as well. We're at the deadline. We're 41 and 9 on this season, which is great. But let's see. Our first round picks this year, the Nets and the Suns. Let's see how good they are. I'm guessing they're not, but let's just check on them. So the Phoenix Suns on this season are 18 and 31. So they will miss the playoffs. So that pick will be valuable. Then the Nets, I'm not quite sure. They might be good. And yes, they are because they have Cooper Flag on the team. Forgot about that. And they signed Fred Van Vliet, So. But obviously, let's see. So, what what is our picks value right now? So, two star. The Suns pick has four stars. So, I knew we can get probably a really good center. Let's see which one I would have in Justin. So, I don't know if Jared Allen off the bench makes sense either way. Like I said Capella is on a minimum, which is insane. 
So maybe Zubach. Well, I said I do still do want to miss the Zubach. I want him. Zach Eady. Um, I don't know how he would fit off the bench for us. A Kongu is also always here, but I've been getting a solid like 80, 80 something overall center off the bench. All centers made no sense off the bench, and then Robert Williams uh, is making is making unnecessary money. I don't see him making twenty six million. Like what? And then Klingon, uh, Donovan Klingon could also be that, but. Like I said, I think the guy we do after is obviously Vince Zubac because it's a good overall. But Jock Landell is going to have to be in the trade. Like I said, I wish Dylan Brooks wasn't so expensive. Maybe he's no Brooks and then this Nets pick in here. Let's We're going to offer this exact same deal again and see if we change their minds. We're going to throw, I guess we'll take out a second. And Oh, looks like they agree. So it just took until the deadline for them to finally give me Zubac, and they did. Um, so Jock Landell, I wonder if we could trade him for like a power or as like a small forward or something because we're definitely going to need one or like a power forward. But as I said, I'm going to move Tariq Easton to small forward. He'll go up and then we'll have Reed Shepard, Hugh Gonzalez, Tariq Easton. We need a power forward though. So I wonder if we could trade Jock Landell for like just somebody there, for like a body there and then Norman Powell. Um, you know, hopefully that gets me something. So let's go back with Jock Landell and Norman Powell. And does that give me, like, a power forward? So, like, Caleb Martin is already great. So, I think we go in that direction and get Caleb Martin. Grant Williams is also interesting as well. So, do I want Caleb Martin or Grant Williams? That's, that's really interesting. Caleb Martin is averaging 831% from three. We have to trade a second-round pick. We get Luke Cornett or we can get Grant Williams here, which he is averaging. He's a higher overall um, I think we probably get Grant Williams. We'll have to trade another extra draft capital pick. So, going to get Grant Williams here to come off the bench for us. Then your new rotation is Reed Shepard, Jalen Green, Thara Easton, Jabari, Shangu, Kimber Whitmore. Uh, they still do want to start Reed Shepard, which I would rather start. Man, I'm a Thompson for the defense. I'm sorry, Reed Shepard fans. But I like I'm a Thompson in the starting five. And then, um, yeah, that'll be your rotation. So, I will now see you guys at the end of this season with a more proven backup center and an upgraded bench. I had a four-time MVP for Luka. No, three-time. My bad. I thought he went four years. But, yeah, it's crazy. Ime Udoka, as you can see, 63 wins on the season. You love to see it. Shengu makes all NBA dirt teams. We're the number one seed in the West, which is, which is amazing to see. 19 and 19 for Jalen Green. We had uh, 16 from Cameron Whitmore. 13 from Ray Shepard. 13 from Jabari. 12 from Tari Eason. 12 from Hugo. Left for Mohamed Thompson with six rebounds and seven assists, uh, two steals, and then nine from Zubac. A six from Grant Williams in the floor and didn't play. But, yeah, all, all around really good. We are going to win a championship either this year or next year. Grant Williams is cold. He's a little shrink going nine in rotation. <coughs> all right, now we got Memphis. So they added Mikhail, which is a really good addition, even though I don't know what that, you know, the, how he's shooting right now. We are shooting motion. Koa P, Zach E, G. Jackson. Tyus Jones is back in Memphis, but let's see if we can beat this team as we are up 3-2, but we're going to beat them in 6 to play San Antonio. So Wimben Yama is going to be hard to play. I don't care if the rest of the teams look that good. They obviously got Jock. They treat, we traded Jock Landell to them. He's playing uh, like 12 minutes a game now, so shout out to him. I guess he can probably request it straight because he wasn't playing really that much minutes for us. But again, San Antonio... We are gonna go up two to one. We are gonna go three to one. We're gonna hopefully beat them in six. We're gonna hop in Simcast here. Then hopefully we can beat the Spurs in six games to go and advance to the conference finals for the first time in this video. As the Spurs might force the game seven. That's it's a close game. We have no 34 seconds left. Um have the lead. They have the lead back with 20 seconds left. Now I think it's time to hop in. And man, we can just get it done easily. But since we're losing now, we got to hop in. So let's see what we can do. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to be one to choke this again because obviously I'm not that good at 2K25. 2K24, I was actually goaded. But um, Cameron Whitmore with the ball. Cameron Whitmore, um, we'll give it to Jalen Green. Jalen Green, it's not his hair, but okay, Jalen Green has it. Jalen Green is going to waste off the clock, guarded by Stefan Gauss. So we're going for the bus speed, which may or may not be smart here. Jalen Green is just going to settle for a... Oh, he's actually going to drive in. Oh, what the freak is Jalen Green doing, man? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to lie, Jalen Green. That guy, that makes me want to get, get you out of Houston for that. That was actually bad. 
Really, that's how we're going to lose? That's really how we're going to lose on a turnover like that? Jalen Green is really sold. We could have had a game-winning shot. Well, let's speak of foul. We don't have enough time. Okay, man. We don't have enough time to foul. And that's like that Jalen Green cost us a game. All right, man. I'm just uh, I'm hoping we that doesn't happen ever again. But here we go. We're starting Reed Shepard at point guard. He's actually cooking, man. Like 18 points and like this efficiency. That's cooking. All right, so can we go ahead and win in this game seven to play the Timberwolves? They're awaiting us, or whoever wins this game, another hopping game. I hope I don't see that again, but it looks like we're going to get it. Let's freaking go, man, in the conference finals. 111 to 152, 33 from Green, 23 from Shangun, and 21 from Jabari, 20 to 20 from Whitmore. Crazy game. Now we have Minnesota with Rob Dillingham, Anthony Edwards, McDaniels, Randall, Gobert, Nasri, DiVincenzo, Sadiq Bay, Wendell Moore. All right, Jalen Clark then as well. Let's go. I think we can do it. They want to bench Reed Shepard again, but here we go. Guy, got to play in, which always be hard. Game one, they're going to take. Game two, we even it up. Game three, they're up two to one. Even it up two to two. We're going to simcast this really close game five. They want to start Tari Eason here in this game. But game five, we, it's in Houston. It's in H-Town. And it's looking like we might have done it as we are going to go and do 62 to 160. It's crazy. I can say that. Jalen Green and Shengun cooked. But game six, let's see if we can close them out and go to a game seven and beat the Timberwolves here. Right now, it's a close game. and Not a close game. What am I speaking about? But we get it done. We blow them out. Now we got Indiana with Tyree Halliburton. Nimhard, Matherin, Siakam, Turner, Jairus Walker, Lonzo, Obi Toppin, E. Smith. Ooh, this team is really deep and good. This team is great. Um, all right. Really tough team. A great team the Pacers have put together here. Game one, we're going to take. Game two, we're going to take. Game three, we're going to take. And just like that, I think we've done it. Shall we, shall we end it off with some gameplay? I mean, why not? If we're winning like crazy, we will end this off with some gameplay. But I'm going to hop in the SimCast here. And see if we can get it done then. And honestly, it is tied. About two minutes left of gameplay to watch. Let's see if the Rockets can get it done. No, I will not be playing this. We're going to hold it. But if I have to hop in and save my team, I definitely will. Just an amazing team we put together in general. Shangu will shoot the first free throw. And just like that, we're winning by a point with a minute and 57 seconds left on the clock. Shangu second free throw. Rolls in, and just like that, the Pages have one timeout. We have none. So, Halliburton has the ball. Darius Halliburton is guarded by Reed Shepard. They have their starting five in there. Uh, we do, I think so. Tyrese Halliburton, good defense from Reed Shepard, the undersized guard. Andrew Nimhard has it. He's going to get the screen bar. Turner, Nimhard will shoot the three. Nimhard will miss it. Alfred Shangun will grab the board. He'll give it to Jabari Smith, Jr., He'll give it to Jalen Green. Jalen Green would drive inside. Green will down a poster. Oh, Miles Turner and on Andrew Nimhard. What a freaking dunk by Jalen. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I did not mean to disrespect you earlier, Green. I was not familiar with your game. That was only two people. You don't have to do it that nasty. Darius Halliburton has the ball. Halliburton, great defense from Reed Shepard, man. Lock him up. He's going to give it to Nimhard. Uh, back to Nimhard. Back to Siakam. Nimhard with the ball. He'll get Siakam on a three. Find himself a little open. It's going to roll in. And Siakam will hit the three. Um, about a minute and five seconds left on the clock. Jalen Green has it. Some screens running. Uh, Jalen Green will get the screen by Shengun. Green will pull up a three. And Green will miss it. Oh, okay. Turner will, will get the rebound. Here comes the Pacers as Siakam has it. Siakam will drive aside. And it's going to be a foul as Jabari Smith Jr. is followed out. Uh, not quite. Who is this back up again? I think it is. Okay, so we're playing East, not the four. And then we put Kim and Whitmore in to replace Jabari. Smart. Okay. Siakam will actually miss the second one. So it is a tie in. So we have a chance to take the lead here. 45 seconds left. Reed Shepard, he'll give it to Whitmore. Jalen Green has it. He'll go inside, and he'll get the layup to go. Jalen freaking Green, five clutch points here. Halliburton has it. We cannot allow a three. or We're cooked if we do. Okay, now Halliburton just absolutely cooked Reed Shepard there. I'm not going to lie. This would be a great time. But I'm a Thompson. That's why I would love to have a way bigger guy guarding a guy like Tyrese Halliburton, man. 
Jalen Green has it. Green will give it to Oh, Shepard was open. You could have actually shot that, though. Shangun on Turner. See if, I don't know. Shang Turner is a really good defender. He's going to miss it. It's a pace will call a timeout with 15 seconds left. So at the end, not the best, you know, offense towards the end for this team. Just annoying because I think we could have probably, you know, won this game pretty easily. I would much rather have on the Thompson, at least for this possession right here. But whatever. Halliburton has the ball. Tyrese Halliburton, we need to lock up. We might have to call a double team over. Uh, the Reese Shepard is the only one guarding him, though. Come on, Shepard. The game when his shot is no good. And just like that, we are going to overtime. Okay, Shepard locked up Halliburton. I'm not going to lie. Really good team for some Shepard um, until I had one possession where he got cooked. But, you know, I'll, bet, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. A solid, like, six foot one, you know. Six foot one player, I'm pretty sure I'll absolutely take that defense from Reed Shepard. Six foot three. Let me stop disrespecting. But yeah, really good from Reed Shepard. I'll absolutely take it. But we're not going to watch this whole overtime. Obviously, we're going to trim it down if it's close. As, um, okay, so about a minute, 51 seconds left on the clock. So around the time we hopped in at the end of the fourth quarter, we're down by a, we're down by two points. Uh, we're down by a basket, as I should say. Halliburton has it. Halliburton has the ball. Um, about a minute and 45 seconds left. Halliburton it still is going nowhere. Reach. Oh, okay. I was guarding Reed. Oh, he came back. A uh, light pressure. He's going to make it, though. I thought Reed was going to get out there and block that. But, nah, man. We're down by two possessions. Jalen Green has a Greenwood driving side on Turner as he will get fouled. Um, I don't know if that's really. Yeah, I guess you can call that a foul. Foul baiting, as you should say. Jalen Green's first few has 30 points on the night. It's good. 31 points, as I should say. Now, Green's second free throw is good. Let's go, Jalen Green, man. Keep foul baiting. I don't care what anybody says. Now, a one possession game here in Indiana. We're up 3 to 0. Imagine all that just to freaking lose would be crazy. Okay. Halliburton hit the screen by Turner. Halliburton will leave him open for the three. Always oh, going to miss it. That is a Bad miss by Terry Halliburton, man. Jalen Green has it. That same move from the oh my goodness, that's that same move he sold last last um last round, bro. The same move, same thing happens. It's crazy. Halliburton has it. Halliburton will give it to Nimhard in the corner. Nimhard will get the screen by Miles Turner. Namar, good defense from Tari Eason. Just keep staying on your man, Tari. Tari Eason, great freaking defense. Schengen with the board. Green has it. 46, 45 seconds left. Whitmore inside for the dunk. That's Cam and Whitmore. We're going to have a tie game here in Indiana. What a freaking game so far, though. This has been one of the most wild games I've ever hopped into so far in the first couple of months of 2K25. But Miles Turner has it. Turner is going to give the ball. He is going to give it to Hall. I thought he's going to have Nimhard, but Halliburton has it. Shepard is a freaking lockdown defender. I don't care. Nimhard with it. Andrew Nimhard is locking up. Here we go. Shangoon rejected by Alfred Shangoon. And here comes H Town. Here comes the Rockets. Okay, we're going to slow it down. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to get the screen. No, we're not slowing it down. We're going to the rack as Jalen Green. Yeah, Dylan, we got to have a little bit more. I feel like we should have slowed it down, waited for like, the perfect shot. But now the Pacers have no you know, shot clock. Now they can just shoot whenever they want to in these 22 seconds. So give it to Halliburton. 19 seconds left. Halley is, is going to waste out the clock. So I'm going to used to this. While you're here, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Because we're not, not going to shoot until like five seconds left. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Halliburton has it. Tyrese Halliburton will drive inside. Uh, Siakam, Matherin, game-winning three. Oh, my goodness, we hit that. Benedict freaking Matherin. The game might be over 0.7 seconds. Of now, we can still get a shot off. i see seen multiple guys do it in 0.7 seconds. But we honestly might be cooked. Unless we need to find somebody in the corner. That's where it usually happens. We're going to get a Reese Shepard. It's not even going to count. And it's not even a three. It's just like that. We lost. That's a heartbreaker. We're still up 3-1. I don't care. So, yeah, well, let's go to the next game. All right, we're still up 3-1 in this series. Uh, they want to go ahead and start Whitmore back, um, that crazy dunk. But let's see if we can just win it off here, get the dub. There's no, no playing around this time. Please don't tell me it's another hopping game. It's another close game. But I don't think it's going to be a hopping game. We might lose. We are. Okay, okay. No, let's, 
So reel back in, slot back in, start on the Thompson. Thank you. Now Halliburton should be reducing his points. How much you want to bet he's going to have under 20 points by the end of this game? And that's like that. Oh, they took the lead back at the very end, man. You might have to, I'm not going to opt in with five minutes left. That's a little too much king to play. But I think we might have done it. 37 seconds left. Do we just go in and seal the deal? I will just want to hop in and seal it. I want to hop in um, and say I did something, and hopefully we could lock up on defense here. Then, um, you know, hit the free throws, and then, you know, just seal seal the deal here, here for Houston. going to take this to the rack with – oh, they're not even following me. I, I want to score, so – Give this to Cameron Whip. Okay, no, we're going to let that go out of bounds. It's fine. Let that go out of bounds. I'm scoring. Uh, now, this would be called unsportsmanlike, um, obviously. Uh, if I'm being completely honest with you, man, I just don't care. I just, I, I really don't care. So, going to give it to, we might actually have an open. Jabari, always going to pick up Halliburton. That's a good pickup even Halliburton. Like, can we get the buzzer? No, Austin will block me. And that's like that. Oh, we finally got the championship done in Houston. We got it done just like that in just a couple of seasons. The Rockets are officially NBA champions. We absolutely love to see it. Um, Yeah, a whole new era here. See, I would love to keep going, but that'll end off this video, man. That'll really end it off. Hope you guys enjoyed. Really fun one to say the least. Young teams are always my favorite rebuilds to do because it's just, you know, easy to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure I subscribe to the new videos. Cameron Whitmore actually finals MVP. Let's see. I, I do not believe Cameron Whitmore finals MVP, right? No, it was Ahmed. Oh, Ahmed Thompson. That's surprising. Not Shangun. But I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.